everybody? How you guys doing? Welcome back to It's Just Plastic. My name is Hound. That's right. All right, you seen the thumbnail. Right, I'm not going to lie to you. This one's not going to be a, a one-day film. So I have the Morstrom model. Wow. Mark XLVII, <laughs> which I can't remember which one that is. This is from the Spider-Man uh, Homecoming. I think it's the 47 believe so mark 47 that's probably wrong but uh because that's five six seven then i think that's 40 so yeah 47 is probably right uh this is the avengers series plastic model kit so this is a one nine scale yeah one nine scale plastic model kit i think i bought the luxury edition so it does have some metal parts to it but i mean look at this thing this thing is huge i don't know what the i don't know what this is going to look like at the end but this is a, a, you know, a legend compared to this box. Like, <laughs> yeah, this thing is massive. So let me show you the side. I kind of opened it up just because I wanted to see what was all in there. So let's see here. There's the side of the, one of the sides of the box. Really cool. Got a base, it's got some other cool stuff. There's that side of the box. I've never actually done one of these before. I've seen these things. They look awesome. Uh, I'm not a big model maker, but I really wanted to give this a shot. This is the same as the other one. What's The back is all black. Let's go ahead and open it up and let me show you what's inside. I'm telling you, you're not gonna, you're not gonna believe it. This is quite impressive. Look at this. Wah, wah. <laughs> I like the Avengers. No, what you what you're gonna see underneath it? I just poke myself in the eyeball. There's the booklet. Bam. Really cool. Look, I mean this thing's pretty thick. It's got some colors. I mean, this is a lot of step by steps. Then they had a an issue with it, so they had to put out a uh, this is a problem fix this look at this this box is full 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 to the brim of parts let's see here we go one two there's a little box or a little bag three four five six seven eight nine so ten like 10, 11 bags. I got some batteries. Uh, this is the, for the stand. It's like a 12 inch stand. Uh, come with some super glue. I didn't think this needed super glue, but got some stickers for the stand. Uh, product information. See, here's the luxury edition parts. So there's some metal pieces that replace the plastic, uh, pl replace the plastic pieces. And then it also comes with the light up feature parts. So really, really cool. Let me show you these again with my hand behind there. See if it'll focus in. Yeah. So yeah, I've got my work cut out for me. Uh, like I said, I'm not a big model guy. So, um, this is gonna take a minute so I will be filming this in segments and then I will post everything at the end uh, before I get into that go ahead and hit the like hit the subscribe go check out my website it's just plastic.com that's right you guys go check it out it's not really up to date at the moment because I got a lot of stuff going on but I will update it as soon as I get a chance uh, by the time you watch it maybe it is up to date who knows <laughs> um, but anyways yeah go check out I got all the links down in the description Instagram whatever you want to know about me links down in there and uh, hit me up if you ever want to talk and hopefully I can do this pretty good because this is the first of I've ever done this so bear with me all right you guys watch this all right so day two of building the Morstrom Mark 47 from Homecoming. So I've ran into a few issues. 
Uh, let me show you what I've got done, and that'll. So the first step was a was a, was this head. This one right here. There's two different heads. This one has a. a this one is basically you can have it where it's open and it looks like um, it looks like the drone version. So you can have that head, but unfortunately, here's the mask. I'll show you that. So this is the com this is the piece that I'm building. So it looks like that. Looks really cool. It's very detailed, uh, even on the inside because it's supposed to be an op open face version. So here's the mask. Problem is, you see that right there? See those two little holes right there? That is where magnets are supposed to be. So here is the piece that it goes. This is the top of the helmet. Sorry, I'll hold that a little better. Looks really nice. And this is the piece that goes on the inside. Well, on the inside of this, so they go together. Focus. So they go together with this piece on the inside of this. Well, I'm supposed to put magnets on here. So when you do that, so when it opens, it can set like this, and you can see, you can see Iron Man, that Iron Man is not in there, like the scene in Homecoming. Guess what? No magnets were included in my set. <laughs> so, I'm stuck on that one. Here's the other head. This is a light up head. And get a little closer. So this is the light up head. Um so I didn't want to I didn't really have time to glue anything yesterday, but this piece, everything is fit like a glove. But this piece of the helmet sets right there. So it's that piece of the face mask. This thing is loose. I just need to glue it together. So in the end, everything will snap together and it'll set like it'll set like that. And that piece, that loose piece will be right there. It's not that big of a deal. I just gotta glue it down and I just haven't messed with the glue portion of everything. So uh, I figured I'd wait towards the end and mess with glue. Cause you know how it is. Once you open glue then, and there's the neck to the light up head. So that one's got to swivel. This one does not swivel. It swivels at the the non light up swivels down here, and this one swivels up here or swivels here and here. So this is the light up head has a swivel there and a swivel there. The non light up head just has a swivel there, not here. Okay, so this is my next step. Uh, this is and this is hours of doing this because like this little piece is a piece this little piece is here now this has open functions so it's really cool and of course they're very tight i told you these things are tight so it has flaps that open like the like the figures and stuff uh there's more to it there's one here uh it has a light up function in the chest there's supposed to be a spring right there in the center right there so that spring goes right here around that. And I don't know the significance of it, but you take this piece and this piece and you can put them together. Unfortunately, and it's supposed to have like a spring action. I don't know what the spring is for, like I said, but I didn't get a spring. So uh, that's the only pieces I've made. It took a lot of work to get to that stage. To that step right there and right now I'm missing four magnets and a spring I've looked everywhere I don't have them I've contacted I bought this from USA Gundam I'm gonna put the link of to them in the description uh, once this is all done um, go check them out all right I'm gonna get back to it you guys I'm not gonna film all this because this is I'll film every day I'll do it like this so you guys can see what I'm doing but I'm not gonna film this whole thing because there's other sites for that and this I don't have the memory capacity you know like the I, yeah I can't do that it's just too much all right what's up everybody so at the end of day two of the Morse two of the Morstrom model mark 47 build uh, I finished some finishing touches on the uh, torso 
are the chest. It's got its pieces here. He also comes with, both sides come with a regular version. So you got that and that. So you can swap them out. But there you go. There's some, some details. I also finished the ab and connected the ab to the, so he does have some swivel. This piece is missing off the front. This right here is missing off the front. So hopefully when I get that situation figured out, which uh, USA Gundam still has not wrote me back yet. So um, I will be trying to figure out what's going on with that. But so hopefully that bit won't gap so much and that'll look really good. Uh, I finished, here's the shoulders for the arms. Both of these are finished. Look really good. Wish my camera would focus a little better. Here, I'll just show you one. They look the same. So the the plastic is really super shiny. I mean it is it is very glossy shiny. I'm very happy with the the way this looks. Uh, I started to put together one of the arms. There's a outside of it. It's giving some details to it. It's got the uh, this would be the elbow right here actually that's the elbow so it's got a nice bend to it here is a couple of the biceps did mess up on the biceps both of them uh, so I will have to glue a piece this portion right here of the knee swivels um, let me take it off I can show you so there is a piece right there see that little divot piece I cut that off and uh, as you can tell by the back of this hopefully you can see there is a okay you really can't see it's hard to but there's a divot right here that that slot is supposed to um, go into so let me attach this real quick so it doesn't do this it doesn't swivel back and forth so I'll glue that in in place it's not that big of a deal and I also finished uh, the shoulders or the shoulder socket. These are the pop ends. So once everything's done, uh, once I get the top of the arm, so once I get the bicep and everything, it should go right around somewhere like that. And then this should go somewhere right along like that. So that's that's your arm right there. Pretty neat. Overall, everything. That's it for day two. Uh, it doesn't seem like a lot, but man, it. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, I've been putting about three or four hours a day into it. Um, it is not easy. There is a whole lot of plastic. This is just some of it. <laughs> I mean, a whole lot of plastic. And it is constantly telling you, hey, switch to this. Let me show you real quick. And then I've messed with things like missing, uh, missing magnets and stuff like that. But as you can tell, the arms take... A, B, C1, C2, D, F2, F3, G, H, I2, K2, L3, L4, and O1. And you may only use that. See how it is? It says C1 at the top right there. And then this is D. Kind of gives you an idea. But look how... See? They're all different sizes. And it may use two pieces off of this. And then we switch to this, which is A. So we'll switch to A and use two pieces off of this. And then we'll use a piece off of M1. Like, yeah. Most of the time I spend is trying to either clean the pieces off so they look good or uh, hunting for them. <laughs> Assembling it is fun. Um, but I will, I will say, and I will reiterate this at the end of the video, is take it slow. The uh, pictures in the book are not 100% or in the instructions are not 100% perfect. They do have their issues. They are kind of, there's some of them that are not very uh, readable. Like it's visually awkward the way they took the picture, the way they put the model in there, however you want to word that. Um, the layout is weird of the picture. So uh, sometimes you just go slow, double check your picture. Um, like that little knob I clicked off, that was me trying to hurry up and trying to get fast, you know, trying to speed up because my wife wanted me inside. Um, 
you know, those kinds of things. So, um, also, if it, if it says two pieces go here, just because the other pieces for the other side, like the right side, if it tells you to do this, just do this. Don't do this and this because you know this goes to the left and this goes to the right. Don't do that because they look very similar and now you don't know which ones go with what and yeah, they, they have different, you know, they may have different uh, curves to them and stuff like that. Like these, this was a, this is, this took a lot of my time because these have a subtle curve to them. They have a curve that goes right here and when you are trying to put that together, the opposite of this one, yeah, um, it, it messes with your head. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get back to this. Hopefully, I can finish this in another day or two, but I'll keep giving you guys uh, daily updates. You guys, can't wait for you to see the end. All right, so it's day three, or the end of day three, I should say, and uh, I've got a full figure. <laughs> so I still have not heard back from USA Gundam, so his chest is missing the spring, and his mask is missing the uh, magnets, so I still got this one that's incomplete, and I actually messed up, and this one's supposed to have the lights inside of it, and I forgot to do that, so at some point I gotta take this one back apart and put his, uh, put his lights back in there, or put his lights in his head, but I got a full figure. He's got double articulation in the elbows he's got double jointed or double articulation in the knees he's got full rotation in his in his foot he's got this back piece right here that moves to shift that out uh, he's got toe crunch I'm not showing you exactly how everything moves because this thing is stiff um, he's got piece that moves here to the side so when you move his leg out He's got good articulation in the leg. I mean, he has got really good movement to him. Uh, side to side. This is a really, really cool figure. Oh, man, I popped his arm off as I was doing that. Uh, but he's got swivel in his elbow, I mean, his shoulder here, right here. Um, I, I mean... Yes, it is a little more uh, contrary because he is not, uh, he's got the same uh, bendability and stuff as a Marvel Legend. Um, he's got lighting, he's got, he's uh, light up, you know, he's got other capabilities that a Marvel Legend does not, but um, like I said, he is kind of a... Um, Fragile feeling because he is a, a, a model kit. Y'all would actually not believe the amount of Iron Man I have, and I only have I only have one Marvel Legend. Because <laughs> uh, Marvel Legends are not the best in my opinion. But there's size comparison. I'll do a more size comparison later. But this is a one six scale. This is a one nine scale. He roughly estimates about nine inches instead of the six inches. So that three inches makes a big difference. And I don't know how many of y'all familiar, but I just have to have in this, I just bought this the other day, sitting on my desk. This is a, a re-edit Iron Man. So if y'all know how big the Sentinel re-edits are, this is a big figure. Sorry, I'm trying to do it while I'm talking to you guys, you know, with the up. So that's the difference between a re-edit and a Marvel Legend. And now look at the difference between that. This is a big figure. I mean, he overall looks good. I'm not even done. Um, I've still got the base to build. The, the clamp for the base is like a Hot Toys. Um, and I still got, so I've got the base to do and I've still got this part, the little uh, pods to put together, little missile pods. So yeah, I've got still quite a bit to do. There's the stand, kind of gives you an idea. Um, so yeah, it's not done, it's not over. I just got the uh, main portion done. So I will check back with you guys tomorrow and hopefully I will be done uh, after tomorrow, or today. Hopefully I'll be done, well, not tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be done after that. 
All right, see you guys in a little bit. All right, welcome back. This is day four of the Mordstrom model Mach 47 Iron Man from Spider-Man Homecoming build. All right, so today is going to be the last and final day. So I'm going to show you what everything looks like. Boom, there he is. Check it out. And look, I found the magnets. Oh. Wanna see the magic? Wanna see the magic happen? Watch this, buddy. Boop. Boop. <laughs> so it looks like. That's right. Looks like the uh looks like Tony Stark's not even in there. That's right. <laughs> he looks amazing he's got an um, awesome articulation i already covered some of the articulation uh that's probably all i'm going to cover after about uh, after day three i believe i cover the articulation um let me go ahead and show you everything else that is to offer so after i got done with him he took three days to build um at the end of day four or the beginning of day four, I really didn't have anything to do with him except for after I found I found the, the magnets, they were in the box for this and all of its components. Why they are in this thing's components, I have no idea. So let me show you. So this thing comes with, these are some rockets. Remember in Spider-Man 3, I mean, uh, yeah, I guess it's Spider-Man 3, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man Homecoming. Uh, when Iron Man shows up and puts the uh, the yacht back together or the travel barge or this whatever barge, uh, this is what he uses. So you can you get one, you can build it like this. There's extra pieces to it as well. So you can get these little pieces that go on the side. Uh, you got more of those. And then you got this. So you can get... So that can look like this <laughs> if you put all the stuff on it. Boom. So you get two. Oh, that's backwards. So you get one that looks like this. Or, or they, they can both look the same. They can both look like this. Uh, you can put this. So you can take these things off real easy. So it can, you know, have those off. Like I said, you can make this look as crazy or as, you know, down as you want to so you could take like the bottom ones off and then put this back on there and then you could just have the top section so it's kind of up to you how you want to make this these two things look there is two of them there are enough parts like that there are enough parts for to make two whole ones uh like two full ones like two big full ones like there is enough pieces to make two of them that are fully blown out like that okay so another thing you get is you get so there's all that stuff too big i mean these things are these things are huge so you can also get these so you have to build these this took forever this took a long time they're little rockets so these things fold out. So every one of these you get to build straight up. Pretty cool looking. Let's see how many are there of these. Uh, let's see here. That's eight. Not 10, 11, 12. So you get 12 of those. That you got to build. There's the Iron Man head that's got the swivel. So he does come with two heads. He comes with the drone head. And then he comes with he's going to be in it head. Uh, the lights will light up if you put the batteries in it. I did not put any batteries in it. Um, he comes with several sets of hands. So he comes with, there's one set of hands. So as you can tell, these will light up if they go in, if you put the batteries in there. He has batteries in his um, chest as well. And I believe that these will light up because he has lights at the end of his hands or the end of his arms. So if you pop that out, see that's a light bulb right there. So you should be able to get uh, lights off in there. Really cool. He has 
uh, these right here. Oh, where is it? There's oh, drop my stuff. So yeah, there's another set of hands you can actually plug things into. They look just like the ones I just showed you a second ago, but they have holes to plug into. Uh, he's got all sorts of uh, firing mechanisms. You get a couple extra pieces here and there. Uh, these are the shoulders, so you could launch. So you could look like he's about to launch the, you know, the shoulder, the missile shoulders, shoulder missiles. <laughs> And then he comes with these that go on that could go on his arm. Some some what do they call them? Widow makers. <laughs> Let's get you a good view. If it would work. Anyways, you get the gist. I mean, these things are so cool. There's so many accessories, so many things. So uh, he also comes with these two pieces. That you can attach to the base um here's the base looks just like a um looks a lot like you have to build this by the way this thing is a pain in the rear to build uh there's a spring on the inside here oh man just wanted to end it all at that point <laughs> the rest of it was super easy to build just this clamp is hard uh to build but it's really a cool clamp this thing bends this uh wire piece here it's like a hot toys basically uh, base I really like it I enjoy it but you got these pieces that'll clamp onto it so you can take so you can take this apart and it'll go right around it'll go right around there so just like that so um, and then you get these pieces you can plug into there I got the wrong one so you get a whole bunch of these as well so you can and you can take these things apart and build as many styles as you want to i mean this not the way they told me to put it together it's just the way i selected uh you can i mean sky's the limit really however you want to attach them so you can put them like this and then um you can put those on the end of it you could put this on the end of it. One of these things pops out. A couple of these pop out. So you could put that on the end of it. So. But yeah. So you can. This goes on there. And then you can just maneuver that however you want to. And there it goes flying down the road. It's pretty cool man. This is a lot of. A lot of ingenuity these guys put behind all this stuff. You get some extra screws. I didn't use these screws. I don't remember what I even used those screws for. I got a couple extra nuts. That was for the base, which I only needed one. They gave me three. Um, overall, you get a lot of cool stuff for this set. I mean, look at all this stuff. This is all extra that I don't even know what I... And I got more parts that are still on the thing that I cannot find. I've got a couple of extra magnet pieces, or uh, heavy metal pieces, because he's got some metal in his legs to make him a little heavier duty. Never use those. Uh, here's the batteries. You get some batteries with it. It's it's a pretty decked out set, and everything is swappable. Uh, like the head, see, I just take that and pop it on there. I mean, it's like a, it's like a legend, really. I mean, it is, it is a giant legend with better articulation and better proportion and I, i'm very impressed also you get these things i almost forgot to cover this you get these things i didn't mess with this because i don't know how i'm going to display it just yet but the overall outcome is for this so you can bend it and make this oh i forgot to show you all that part there's more to it so you can make these like crazy uh lasers so like when he's shooting them you see like <laughs> because you get this bag of goodies to plug into his hands and so like this right here will plug into that see it shooting and then you plug this in there if you bend it the way you want to yeah I mean there's so many possibilities for this set. 
Um, this big rocket piece right here goes in his feet. So you get rocket blasters for his feet. You get pieces for like long shoot pieces that you can plug into these uh, flame effects. And then, so like, here's another piece that you can do. So you can put, there's another one. You can put that long effect in there or see now you can do this. Bam, and then you get this cool blast effect like that or you can change it out for, I don't know why you'd want to, but a super long blast effect. I mean, this set is crazy. There's a reason why this set costs as much as it does. It is a beautifully done set. There's so much to it. Um, and after all is said and done, I got all these extra pieces and the only thing I'm missing is the spring. I'm missing, there should be a spring that goes in his chest. And I don't even know what the spring accomplishes, but that's the only thing I'm missing after, after all was said and done. I uh, still have yet to hear back from USA Gundam. I'm going to look through this booklet one more time and see if I can figure out what these missing pieces are. But I've seen several people go through here and build these things and just kind of clip them. Uh, one of the YouTubers that I watch is called B-Hobby. Uh, I think he might even be sponsored by Morstrom or something. I don't know because he's got a lot of these on there. Uh, he does this stuff and like he, you can just see him clipping them. He is super fast, super efficient. I don't know how he does it like that. But, um, yeah, go check out his channel, man. His channel's really legit. He does a lot of Lego stuff, but he does a lot of the model stuff, too. You, uh, Gundams and stuff like that. So, yeah, go check out his channel. I, I highly recommend. He's kind of the one that I watched before I started doing this. And, uh, yeah, I learned a few things. <laughs> Take your time. Go through this as slow as possible. This is a really cool build. If you ever, invest, ever want to buy one of these, they are like $100-something, but I got four days of like four and a half hours a piece of just sitting down here and building this. This this was not a easy thing. And I'm not a model builder, so maybe that was part of my problem is, you know, um, I, I'm not a model builder, but I have built 501st armor. So, I mean, I know how to build things. I know how to build this kind of stuff. I know how to work with plastic, but this was cool. Like this kind of scale, let me show you a size comparison. I did a little bit. Let me move all his accessories. That's another thing is I don't even know where I'm going to store all these accessories. One more time, I'm going to show everybody that hasn't seen it a size comparison real quick. This is the size comparison between him and a Marble Legend. A Marble. A Marvel Legend. So, yes, there is a huge size difference. Six inches, nine inches. So, three inches difference doesn't seem like a lot, but um, I want to make an inappropriate joke just there. Insert joke. <laughs> but, yeah. Definitely recommend building one of these. If you ever thought about building one, definitely get one. These things are really cool. Uh, be very careful what pieces you cut because there are pieces that you're not supposed to cut that look like you're supposed to cut them. Uh, I only had two accidents the whole time, but I had several that could have been worse. Uh, definitely stock up on some of the... Watch some of these YouTube videos and look at some of their uh, tools they use. Um, pair of scissors. pair of fine tip scissors. That would be handy. Uh... A pair of pliers, like needle nose pliers, very handy. A pair of snips, like really sharp snips. I got these on Amazon. Uh, that's a good idea. A kit for screws and stuff like that. They give you a screwdriver, you shouldn't need it, but I'm telling you right now, that multi set is coming handy a whole bunch. And some tweezers, like a set of tweezers. Everything that I showed you, you can get on Amazon. Super cheap, nothing super expensive. They give you a little magnet that you can use pair of blood, tiny pliers, stuff like that. I mean, I'm telling you, these things come in handy. Uh, a box knife or an X-Acto knife. Like, I used every one of those tools while doing this. So, tell you right now, if you ever thought about doing it, invest in them, get you something good, and this was a lot of fun. All right, I'm gonna end this video right there. Go check out my website. Go hit me up on anything. Write me up on, uh, or hit me up on uh, Instagram. Hit me up on YouTube. However y'all want to leave a message. If I overlook your message, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't mean to. I try to respond to every message. But man, what a cool build. Check out the stand one more time. Look at that. Bam, Iron Man, Mark 47. That's right. Oh, and they give you a thing of super glue, which I didn't use a whole lot of. It looks like it, but it wasn't very full. So, but anyways. 
All right, you guys take care, have a good one, and remember, it's just blasting.